Boundaries soften, do not dissolve. Pressing my face up against possibility, hard, broad nose against the glass surface of hope, slippery with my own lubrication, clouds. I see only the reflection of my own desire, imagining we sniff each other secretly, I dropping innuendo, carefully straining to hear suggestion between your sentences. You leave me nothing to hold on to, fingertips sliding over your perpetual stubble. It has been nine months, you remind me, since you came and I wonder if my premature departure from the fragile amniotic sac that has held our differences together like fraternal twins will give birth to a new bond between us. Every coming out is a risk. I wonder as I write if naming this lanyap is wrong-footed. Even as he hovers like a doin in the air, closing the arc of broken need between your lonely ejaculation's trajectory and my empty embrace. Whether calling him before his time will kill him. That pushing too hard upstream with my stubborn eager fist, grasping through danger bullshit for an imaginary place may rupture this womb of silence I have held tightly between my legs ever since I discovered my hand wedged casually in the waist of my pants, pressing hard desperately against myself, strapped into the harness of harassment, dreading speculation that the slightest examination would expose me. Releasing my clench tentatively now, legs cracking open gently, I discover how desire collapses, going limp in the face of its fulfillment, like a thin filament of cum, depending on the tautness of distance for its grace. Even as you seem to dance around my flaccid edges, your tongue ripening with illusion, brushing my crotch, quickly darting in a different direction. As a youth, I always had poor balance. Slipping down the slope of any intimacy into the vortex of romance. I never learned to balance like a gambler I could never let go, circling the same blocks, gripping the handlebars tight, haunting the sights of old fires, sneaking back to peek through the louvers of burnt-out buildings, always pressing against boundaries. I never listened, learned activism. Boundaries stir, shift, settle. No tectonic grinding as I back up into this loose embrace of ours, strangely comfortable, concerned, and disappointed that I only seem to get hard in the dark. Struggle breeds queer bedfellows. I have run through a graveled corridor of your friends, once fleshy knuckles bruised from knocking at door after brass door. This is not the first time I find myself standing with desire between us. As you lean pressed over me on the bicycle, lube stains under your ragged fingertips, screwing the training wheels off my hands on the trembling handlebar, you release them from under your grip, push, the chain tautens with a spasm, the gear engages, and riding unsteadily forward, eyes wide, I let go. Look back nervously, hoping if I do fall, it will be where you have been waiting, just beyond the boundary, arms outstretched, ready to catch me. <laughs>